This story takes place at Newport Beach, United States. It's 2 o'clock AM and a safe, gated community is dead silent. Within this community, there is a mansion. This mansion is owned by Golden Globe winning actor Nicolas Cage. Cage is fast asleep, resting to be ready for another day of working on the set of his next film. Unbeknownst to Cage, there is a man standing at the end of his bed. This man has silently entered the actor's premises, slipped on one of his leather jackets and helped himself to a chocolate fudgesicle from the freezer. The man stands ominously at the end of Cage's bed. Eventually, Cage stirs and notices the man. Eating the fudgesicle, he notices he is wearing nothing but his own leather jacket. Cage's concern switches instantly to his young son, who is sleeping in the next room. Cage begins conversing with the stranger to try to defuse the situation. Cage uses what he self-described as verbal judo to convince the stranger to leave his premises. After convincing the man to leave, he immediately called the security team that operates within the gated community. It was later discovered that this man would often enter Nicolas Cage's premises, try on multiple outfits and make himself at home. However, on this occasion, he decided to do this whilst Cage and his family was in the house. Following this incident, Cage and his family never felt safe in the house. He would eventually sell his house in Newport Beach and move on. In the end, Cage decided not to press charges as it came to light that the stranger was suffering from serious psychological issues. Although looking back, Cage admits the situation sounds comical. He explains that at the time, it was a terrifying experience. To wake up and find a complete stranger standing at the end of your bed is enough to bring anybody eternal nightmares.